ちは<笑>皆さん、えっと、今回は最終回になるので英語でや,やってくださいって言われましたがじゃあ英語でちょっとやってみましょう難しいですけど<笑>はい、はい、ああじゃあうん Hello、uh, my name is Peter I'm from Slovakia and I've been in Japan this is my third year I've been here for two years and this year I joined Chuo University as an assistant professor and yes、yeah, so this is my third year、uh, right my role is to explain to you this room which is on the eighth floor、uh, two floors above the, the main venue and right so what we have here、uh, there are five five、uh, Ooh. Laboratories. Okay. And this room, which is called, oh, I don't know how to translate it in English.、Uh, it's like 3D menu,、uh, factor, not factory, 3D hobo. <laughs> Do we have this? Hi.、Uh, factory, let's say. Manu Manufacturing. Okay, anyway. anyway. Uh, and there's also one other room in which we held seminars. There is no like, classroom, which means that students don't really come here very often, and the, the, the,、uh, it's quite quiet outside, but you can still see inside the room because the, the, the walls are、like、big windows.、And、also, great thing about this floor is it's really, it's really high, so the view is wonderful. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Okay. Yes, you, you can see Tokyo Dome very like, from a high angle. Okay. I mean, you can see it from the sixth floor as well, but from here it's even, it's even higher angle, so I guess even better.、Okay. And you can see Shinjuku and Tokyo, Tokyo Tower. Right. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was the, like, one of the first things I noticed when I came here、uh, like、this year.、Uh, the, the view is wonderful. Before, I, I spent my previous two years in uh, uh, NII, National Institute of Informatics, which overlooks、uh, Emperor's Garden. So the view there was also wonderful, but I mean, still great. And right, let's return to this room. So, first thing you notice when you enter this room are these two huge screens,、uh, 98 inches. Huge, huge screen.、Uh, right. How do they use them? I'm not exactly sure. I, ju I just joined. But like, what really <laughs> interested me was how did they get them here? And they're so huge. And so, so I asked, and apparently、uh, it took some time to even find a company who would, who would、uh, transfer them. Like, nobody was willing, nobody, they, they, any other company was saying, This is, we cannot take the responsibility. To move these huge things because if, if it breaks, it's probably even expensive. I mean, yeah, it's probably expensive. Yes. So, but yeah, eventually they found one company and kind of, it, it fit exactly into the elevator as if the elevator was just the right size for these huge screens or the other way around. Anyway, this is not the main thing. I want to talk about this 3D printer. Right, 3D printer.、Uh, so, if, if, if you think about、uh, computer science, well, you imagine computer, of course, and maybe internet, and kind of,、um, those kind of technologies, which are not really something you can, you can hold in your hands.、It's, but actually, ha, mono zukuri. I don't know, manufacturing, let's say. Uh, actually, today's manufacturing and industry in, in general、uh, requires computers at every level. So, computers play a very important role in、uh, kind of cre <laughs> manufacturing, creating things. Right. And to be more precise, how do we use this、uh, 3D printer、uh, in our Department, I guess. Kaka. So, this is one example. It's a, it's a project,、uh, a group project, which we ask、uh, second year students to do.、Uh, first, 
they are given data, like a, like a map. It's from, uh, well, this campus, um, uh, it's from, from this campus uh, to Tokyo Station. So like this huge area is um, kind of made into a mesh of squares of size one meter. And for every of these squares, uh, uh, airplane, I guess. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the, the the height height of the square is measured by an airplane which follows around, and this huge collection of big data, big data, is then made into like some sort of a map. And this data we, we, we give to students. So first part of the task is to deal with this huge data, to, to kind of um, make it smaller. <laughs> the problem is that the data is so huge, a computer cannot deal with it. It's just too much. So we need, first step, we need to decrease the amount of data. But this is actually like, easier said than done. <laughs> Because uh, you cannot just you know, throw away ninety percent and just keep random or, or like random ten percent. That, that, that wouldn't be enough. Because um, if if you do that, it can happen that a building can um, get a, you know, a strange shape. It doesn't look very realistically. The building, for for example, if, because it's like a landmark, you know how it's supposed to look like. But if you pick the data in a not, not in a careful way, the, the, the shape of the building may look, may, may change quite drastically. Or the other way around, you want to um, kind of uh, preserve the shape of some part. For example, Tokyo Dome, the, 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 the uh, roof, roof of the Tokyo Dome has these, huh, how do you say, like lines? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes, these lines. And this is very characteristic for Tokyo Dome. Like if, if you just see the shape, you maybe you wouldn't know, but if, if you see those lines, the, the kind of mesh, then it's easier to recognize. So many students uh, took great pain to preserve that part of the map. They wanted on their model to still it look look like Tokyo Dome, to be recognizable. And yeah, some of them actually succeeded. So but of course, if you increase, if you spend more data on one part, then that requires that you have you have less like, uh, capacity to spare on, on the rest. But well, nobody knows these, how these buildings are supposed to look like, so it's not such a big problem. And this is actually the interesting part, like how to you cannot just me mechanically like, like pick random sample of the data. You you kind of try to recognize the interesting areas and, and keep those and kind of forget about these less interesting ideas, uh, areas. So that's one part of, of the task, uh, how to decrease the amount of data in a kind of sensible way. And the second part is um, because, so, so these, these measurements, they are, they are measuring kind of height of, of a point, but you don't know if that point is, uh, is, a, is a road or if it's not a road, <laughs> if it's a road, or if it's a kind of top of a building, or it could, can be actually a roof of a car, or it could be pedestrians, like trees, could be anything. And if you just look at the data, raw data, which is just, just kind of rows of numbers, you, you, you don't know which is which. So this requires some kind of analysis, some algorithm, which decides what is, uh, ground and what is not. And in the final product, you can express this, uh, this, this distinction between ground and not ground by color, for example. So, so in this example, the, the white part is like what was recognized as ground. So the, 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 the team wrote an algorithm which decided, OK, these parts are ground. That's why we print them white. And not, not ground, we print green. So that's why how we, how we can, how we can on the final product, you can see the distinction made by the algorithm. And it didn't always go as well. So for example, this, 
there is not much distinction. Like I can't really say where's like, everything looks the same. But yeah. So and this is actually not so easy for like you, you, you can say you, you can think uh, like low areas are ground and, and high areas. Like you decide some if it's higher than that many meters, it's going to be not a ground. But that doesn't really work. There are many, many slopes in Tokyo. And so you can have really high ground. Also, if you have like a, like a high point inside the road, it's not really, it is, it's, a, it's a roof of a car. It's not that suddenly there's a building in, in, in the middle of the road. So just deciding by some, some setting some threshold below this, this is ground above, it's, it's a building, that, that the result wouldn't be very good. I mean, there are some other uh, exactly products, not products, uh, which are not, uh, which didn't work out as well as, as this one. Right. Uh, so, one thing I'd like to highlight, which is grouped about this, this project, first thing is it's it's a group project, so you are not alone to work on these things. But on the other hand, it requires, well, you, you can combine your uh, skills with, with other members, so that, that's great. But on the other hand, uh, if you have many people working on the same thing, like, you need somehow to, to manage those skills. It's, it's not just immediately if you have two people, like one plus one is what? It's two, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> one plus one is two. It can be three, but you have to kind of you have to work on it. You have to manage those different skills to, so so they can work together. So they can collaborate. So that that's one thing. You, you learn other other skills, not necessarily computer science. This is kind of like a <laughs> computer science like skills, but you can also get some some soft skills. Right? And another, the second good point I, I'd like to highlight about this is that it's not. The result is actually you, you can you can see it with your eyes. It's it's not just um, rows of numbers, but so 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 this, this distinction between uh, ground and not ground, you can see that the result. If your algorithm was good, you can see it, and, and it feels much better, I guess, than just if the result is just on the screen. I mean, technically it is the same, but like for us humans. This just feels more, 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 it is more natural. And that I think that kind of improves, that makes the teaching, the, the learning more enjoyable and also it, it sticks more, I think, I guess. Right. Anyway, we have run out of time. If you have any questions in Japanese as well, more than you Hi, hi, ciao. はい、チャットでもいいですし、音声でもいいです。はい、質問があれば。ありがとうございました。はい。